Well, hello everyone, the interior gardener here. And today we need to sharpen some mower blades. I'm gonna take you over to my zero turn mower that I got. That I have, I didn't just get it. Have the deck pulled off. It comes off pretty easily. You got um, you got two pins on each side. You got the front, the front cross brace and you got the belt in the back. And you can lift the front end up and just kind of lift it over the top because it's quite back heavy because the motor's in the back. Designed that way, of course. And then uh, this deck is a 54 inch, so it has three blades. Um, they're kind of offset so that this one will hit the edge of this one. Like it doesn't actually hit it, but it, but it, you won't have any any missed spots there. And I cleaned this all up. Now it is rusty, and it's getting there because this you know I've had this for a few years now. I cut a lot of grass, a lot of hours on this every year. But I scraped off all the debris that was left from the fall. The bolts are down there. I'm going to show you the blades what I have here. So I have three blades, and now these, this is the cutting edge. You can't really, see if I can move it in here, see it a bit better. This is the cutting edge, and it is very, it's very dull, as you can see. These haven't been sharpened since last year. This one has a, a nasty kind of nick out of it. And these can be cleaned up a little bit. They're not as big of a deal. And then I have two more here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set you guys up here. And I have my uh, I have my grinder. I have a, a coarse side, and then I have a fine side. Typically, it varies what I use. Um, I'll use both here, maybe, or I'll just use the coarse ones because it's not like we're grinding a knife, like to use for cutting tomatoes, where you want to have a nice finer cut to it or a finer kind of edge. This we just want to have a a good edge. But for the ones that are like this. Like this one here, as I said, it has this big nick in this. You won't be able to get all that out without grinding a ton of material away. And obviously you don't want to grind more than I have to away. The other edge is over here. This one's not terrible. You can see they're not straight anymore. And this is what happens after, you know, hundreds, you know, a couple hundred hours of use. I usually put on, I guess it's around 100 hours, maybe 50, 60 hours a year. Maybe even more than that at this point. So anyway, I'm going to set you guys up, and we'll get started. So, I will clean this up a bit, but you can see how much nicer now that where that divot is, that's not going to come out. And I always do a pass on the underside. Kind of hard to tell, but you can see there is a bit of a point on there now compared to, say, this one. This one is like just completely rounded. You can see how rounded that is. This one here has a nice edge on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish doing this one and then the other two that I have. And then I'll bring you back to show you how I put them back on the deck. We'll catch up then. Alrighty, so we're back. So in the last clip you saw me grinding. Um, apologies if it was a little loud. I tried to adjust that. But we're back out here to the mower itself. We got my impact gun. Electric impact wrench or impact driver, I guess. 
Now you could use just a regular, um, sorry for the glare, you could use a regular socket set for this. But I got this, so I might as well use it. And see if I can set you guys up. I got my knee pads on. Knee pads like these, man, they save your, they save your knees so much. See if I can set this up where you guys can see this a little bit. At least so I can put one of these on to show you how I do that. Be a little, not loud, loud, but it has a bit of a noise to it. So obviously you have to have the blades facing towards you. And these will seat right on here. There's no groove, they just seat just like this. You always want, because the, they will go on the other way if you flip them, but you always want the blade part facing out or facing down. So we're gonna grab this, a little bit of noise. There you go. You don't gotta crank, you don't gotta crank these real hard. Like they're just mower blades, like they're not like holding your car together, you know what I mean? But they're on secure as you're gonna get. I'm gonna get these last ones on and then we'll button this thing up. Alrighty, so we got all the blades on. We gotta put this down. This is a heavy deck, by the way. You gotta be careful with your fingers. And then what we gotta do is we gotta pull this on top of it. So release the brake. Push this a bit. Line it up. And then go pick it up. It's not that heavy, trust me. Or don't believe me and think it's super heavy. Alrighty, there we go. Now we just gotta hook everything back up. Alrighty, we're all buttoned up. I lost a cotter pin somewhere, but I had a spare one. Show you real quick how these things hook on. Do it from the other side, actually. That way my face isn't in the sun. Let's just lower the neck down. There. Okay, so the way these are held on, you got these straps, this bar here, connects to the front on both sides. And back here, you got your, this up and down arm, the silver one. That's what controls your depth. And you have a hinge point there, and you have a hinge point here. And you got your belts. The big old serpentine belt. Make sure they're all hooked up and then it goes all the way back to the back of the drive shaft where the engine is. And that's that. We're buttoned up. Normally they come like this. I drilled this hole, I put this little rig on here so I can keep the flap open. Well, not when it's not when it's all the way down, you can't. But I have this little thing here. Now it keeps the chute open. And I always normally always mow with the chute open because it distributes the the grass coming out a lot better. Now, if I'm near, if it's very windy, I won't. Or if I'm near something where I don't want to be sprayed too much, I'll put the chute down. But normally I don't, because it ends up leaving a row of grass, because everything builds up against this back, the back edge of this, because it spins it this way, so it shoots it this way, so it hits this back edge, and then it kind of leaves a bit of a row, which I don't, I try to avoid having clumps in my yard. It's not good for the grass, for one. Anyway, there we go, we're all buttoned up. John Deere Zero Turn Z. 535M.